Jack carries me, coat and bag and all, to the bedroom. Oh dear. Crap, he's carrying me to the bedroom! Red alert! Red alert! Good evening, everyone. I am Espoir Duvide, and I am continuing to play There's Something Wrong with Sunny Day Jack. Now, I would like to stress again that this is an 18 plus game. There may be some not safe for work things. I will edit as necessary, but this game is meant for adults. So there's. There might be some, there might be some, uh, some things in this game, you know, that's not meant for the kitties, you know, so, uh, so, uh, so, uh, keep that in mind. So in the last episode, we confessed our love for Sweet Baby Jack, who is a hallucination of an 80s VHS cartoon character, and then he started talking in red text. Oh boy, I don't know what Jack is planning, but, um, Jack, please don't. Don't like murder. Please don't don't start murdering people. That would <laughs> that would be a little bit too familiar. <laughs> please, please please don't do that, Jack. I have no idea where this game is going to go. I really I really have no idea what's what's going to happen. So let's find out together. Let's 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 find out together. Let's find out together what, what Jack has in mind when he says that we'll be with him forever. I get home around 7 at night. The day saw little fanfare overall, but I had to do all of Carol's chores, which took a little longer than expected. Because she never does them to begin with. Yeah. Carol! Yeah. I'm dead tired when I get, through, get in through the door. Oh god, I want to die. It's too late to die now. I'm ready for death. Take me, sweet death. I will shuffle off this mortal coil. I flop onto the couch with little hesitation on regard for the mass that makes up my body. I'm afraid I can't let you do that. <laughs> why? Why you? Why you got? Why you gotta got say that? Why you gotta say it like the robot? Why you gotta say that like like how? When I look up from the cushion I was mashing my face into, I see Jack knelt next to me. Oh yeah, in the last episode we were getting we were getting kinda intimate. Yeah. Yep, he's still just as vividly technicolored as ever. What I'm not ready for is when he actually does yet another thing I had no idea he could do. He scoops me up into his arms and holds me, bridal style and all. Uh -huh. Ah wait a second. What? I'm tired. I can walk at the very least. I know. I just figured... I know I couldn't really help you all that much today. This is the least I could do. Oh, sweet baby boy. I'm suspicious. I don't know why, but I'm suspicious. Maybe. Even with as nice as he is, I'm not used to the idea of trusting another person enough to let them do this kind of thing. How dare you pick me up, sir? How dare you? But then again, this is Jack. Sunny Day Jack. He's not the kind of guy to just drop you, or hurt you, or throw you. Is he? I don't know. I don't know this dude. I just know he's nice and cute. And made me pancakes. My thoughts are interrupted by a peck on the cheek, courtesy of the blue-haired... Beau? Currently holding me. Man, I don't know words. What does that word mean? Bo? What's that mean? I don't know. Editor me, what does that mean? Having you all to myself is nice, too. <laughs> yes. I try not to squirm or squeak as he plants one more kiss on the base of my neck. Crap, Jack! What? You don't like it? Oh, no, I like it. I like it very much. I, no, <laughs> I like it very much, sir. Very much, sir. Please continue. He doesn't move. He mumbles into my skin. N no, it's just... Remember, I can't do anything you don't want me to. Oh, well, that's good. He kisses upwards, slowly and tenderly. My hands grip the collar of his jacket as I attempt to persuade him away. Uh, okay, yeah, I know, but not now. He stops, for now, smiling down at me. He doesn't even seem phased by the request. As you wish. Why you gotta why you gotta say it like that? Why you gotta say it all cute like that? Yeah. 
Just because he stops kissing, though, doesn't mean he puts me down entirely. Jack carries me, coat and bag and all, to the bedroom. Oh dear. Crap, he's carrying me to the bedroom! Red alert! Red alert! Yeah. Oh my god! Okay, it's happening! Everybody stay calm! What's the procedure, everyone? Calm. Ah! I try not to let my mind race with all the implications. I fail miserably when I consider the fact he's strong enough to carry me. The way his lips were warm and yet wet against my skin. The way his dark, doe-like eyes looked down at me. When we get in through the door, I feel like a steam engine with a boiler fit to burst at the seams. He doesn't turn on the light. I honestly don't mind. The brightness would have blinded me. Today's been dark and dreary since the rain came in. That's all right, though. Through it all. I've had my own source of sunlight. Oh god, I'm doing it too now! Hey. Are you okay? Yes. Yeah, I'm fine. Good. I, I, I didn't forget that your text was read in the last episode. I didn't forget that. What was that all about? There's silence. It's not awkward or anything. But there's anticipation. Jack lays me on the bed, and seeing how in this moment, despite his kindness and his cheery facade, I can't help but back away in awe and intimidation. He's tall, but from this angle, he's tall. He's real tall, like real big, real big boy. <laughs> tall, <laughs> big. <laughs> like the gentle giant he is, though, he does stoop down to my level. His expression is empathetic, concerned, but adoring. But the sweetness of his face is accented with his presence as he slides into bed alongside me. This is okay, right? Yeah, I guess. Y yeah. I felt the warmth spread through my chest. It bubbles up and rose like lava in a lava lamp before sinking back down into my core. There was something unspoken there between us in that moment. We both knew what was going to happen. It was just a matter of waiting for the one to break. The red-hot anticipation filled me with so much, I thought I was going to burst. I was shaking with want, infatuation, need. I didn't think I'd be feeling this anytime soon. So happy. So accepted. But I was cornered now and I was ready to let whatever this was overtake me. This feeling, it had to be love. Yes. Are you reading my thoughts, dude? Are you reading my thoughts? This is love. You're reading my thoughts, aren't you? Aren't you? I knew it. This is how it feels. This is how I've been feeling for you. Oh. <laughs> he shifts closer to me holding me in his tight embrace that felt so right, so comforting. I never wanted to pull away. His kisses felt like sweet sparks of gentleness, and yet at the same time, a hunger fueled by this intense feeling. I could barely think when we finally pressed our lips together. He was so excited, and it was infectious. I'm so proud of you. You worked so hard for so long, but now you don't have to work hard anymore. Jack, I may be falling in love and completely infatuated, but uh, what do you mean by that, dude? What did, what did you mean by forever? Why were you talking in red text? I didn't forget that. The mattress creaks underneath him as he shifts. We can do this together. Be together. Feeling his full weight on me and our silly little fall made us both laugh. Looking into his eyes, he had the cutest flash of pink spread across his cheeks. W what What is that firmness that I feel between my legs? Don't let your kids what's it! Hello, muffins. This is Editor Espoir. This next part gets a little bit steamy. Possibly too steamy for the YouTube overlords. 
so they don't chuck a spear at me or get rid of my channel, I'm going to uh, cut out any particularly steamy parts. Yeah. So if you are over the age of 18, you can play this game yourself. I will have a link in the description so that you can play it. And it is very well written. Um, but yeah, so there's, there's that. Yeah, so, well, yeah. So. Oh, yeah, I, uh, sorry, I just, uh, got so excited. I left my flashlight in my pocket. I'm also happy to see you. Loving you made me so happy. Aww. I guess it was uh, well, difficult to hold back those feelings. Aw, sweet baby boy. My heart practically leapt out of my chest as he kissed me again, but this time with a slight desperateness. I... I want to show you how much I love you. Oh! Oh, my heart! My heart! He kept kissing, almost assuring me, and even relishing in my noises. Such cute sounds you're making. Uh -huh. Oh, you mean when I go... <laughs> you know, you're really so beautiful. And so soft. I'm so happy that you trust me so much. It really means a lot to me that you trust me. <sighs> Got a little tingle there. He looked at me, surprised. I looked at him with a mischievous smirk. He thought he was the only one with nimble fingers. No way. I had to chuckle. Here we are, both of us kissing one another. Like two teens practically in a full makeout session. His eagerness was that of someone who'd never felt this way before, but his hunger, his desperation to get at any speck of warmth, to rub against me just a little more. It screamed of something insatiable, something that had been starved for so long. He was pushing, he was prying. He wanted more, but he was too polite to ask. Oh. I can feel how eager you are. It's so intoxicating. I love it. You're so wonderful. Just a little longer. <sighs> this voice actor is great. Two hours later. I was so exhausted, but so happy. Sunshine. Oh, that was so amazing. You are so amazing. <laughs> Not sure how much of that I can show, uh, I mean, e even if it was all text, not sure how much of that I can show on, on the YouTubes. <laughs> oh, I love you so much. You deserve a good rest. Go on and sleep. He seemed to give me an amused chuckle before placing another kiss on my cheek. Don't worry. I'll still be here when you wake up. I promise I'll never leave you, my love. He's gonna make good on that promise, isn't he? Isn't he? He's never gonna leave me alone, is he? I won't ever leave you. Yeah, you, 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 we're in for it now. We're in the soup. We're in the soup. We're in the hole. We're in the hole soup now. With his gentle words, I let myself slip off to sleep. My eyelids heavy and my belly full. I never want him to leave. Ever. For a second, I forgot this game has graphics. The sun is back with a vengeance. It jabs through my eyelids like a crowbar, not causing them to open, but disturbing my sleep. That and those darn birds are back, chirping and being all cheery and stuff. <laughs> Fudge it. I don't want to move. I'm utterly exhausted anyways, and warm. And probably pregnant. And for once, it's not because of blankets or a heater or the sun. I feel Jack's arm strewn over me. Heavy and muscular as it is, he doesn't need to even hold on to me. He'd be able to keep me there, just like that. But he holds on tightly anyways. I can feel his bare chest moving against mine, his legs sandwiched between mine, just like mine is between his. I don't think you can get any closer with someone. It's almost silly to be like this with him. He's asleep, I gather. Can he even sleep? He's not moving, and he's not waking me up. But I don't need to check. I'm not ready to open my eyes just yet. Let me stay here with him forever. Ah! Leave me alone! 
or not. Go away. Yep, that's the front door. At this point, reality has set in. Reluctantly, I sit up, or do my best to. Jack clings onto me like a child. What? Where are you going? Gotta get the stupid front door. It's... It's still pretty early, isn't it? Voice acting is great. Yeah, but that might be something important. I guess. He sits up with me. Oh god, he's just... Yep, he's definitely still naked. Something about seeing him this way during the day is very different. He stays in bed while I go to throw on my pajamas. I don't bother with the undergarment portions. This might just be the male guy after all. He looks a little sleepy. Aww. I I'll be back, okay? You stay adorable. He yawns and stretches and nods. Of course. I'll be here. I leave him to his own devices, gunning through the kitchen and to the front door. Knocking like you were the gosh darn police! I'm coming! I shout through the door, swinging it open without a second thought. It's about time! Who are you? Oh crap. Sean? Yeah, who else? I busy. Who is this cool character? Oh no, is there someone who's going to try to take my heart from my Jackie Poo? He stands there, coolly, a duffel bag, longboard, and backpack in tow. Don't worry, I got most of my stuff in storage. I just need a few things. I'm in the middle of a production, so I couldn't put everything away. He's got cool hair. I like his hair. Right, right. Sean and I went to college together, and I completely forgot. I'd said Sean could stay with me for a little bit while he looks for a place in my area. And he was supposed to be coming today. Jesus Cristo, I fudged that up nicely. <clears throat> Sean and I amble into the kitchen, and he immediately sets down a sticker-clad laptop. Lots of skulls, tongue-in-cheek horror parodies, and even some homemade scribbled ones. He looks at me, satisfied with himself, but that satisfaction soon turns the concern. Hey, you okay? Yeah, 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 why, why wouldn't I be? Why wouldn't I be? <laughs> you look like you're about to fall asleep on me. Well, it is kind of early, dude. F. Yeah, oh, no, yeah, I, I just woke up, sorry. You didn't forget I was coming today, did you? Yeah, no. No, I didn't forget. I didn't, no, mm, no, mm, what, huh, what, huh, no, me, forget, no. Jeez, nice to know you're still a total space case, huh? <laughs> he laughs it off like it's nothing, thank God. Listen, seriously, thanks for helping me out here. No problem, friend, what are friends are for? <laughs> you, you can't stay that long, though, I'm, I'm kind of busy, I'm kind of I'm busy with something. I promise, I've already got showing set up, and I'll be doing a lot of shooting during the day, so... Hopefully, I'll be gone most of the day, too. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I'll be out of your hair in no time. My brain is still not fully functioning as I retrieve the context necessary to process what he's saying to me. <laughs> right! I was degree hopping around that time. But Sean was going in for film, wasn't he? A movie buff. He and I parted ways physically after college, but we still talk from time to time. You still trying to do that one horror movie? I ask, leaning against a doorway for support. Um, I have several. You're going to have to be more specific. <laughs> I always thought about making movies, but I don't know. YouTube is the best I can do, I think. But who knows, I could get more creative one day if I have more time and money and ideas. <clears throat> Dude, please, my brain is still loading. Explain everything to me like I'm five. Sean sighs and scratches his head wearily. Well, hey, that makes two of us. I just got off an eight-hour plane ride. <laughs> I'm just better at pretending to be human than you. <laughs> That's a good one, pretending to be human. It's true, he is. I one time saw him pull an all-nighter, then get up and head to class in the same clothes as the day before. 
then he bought me lunch. <gasps> Maybe it's because you watch all those horror stuff. How do I even know that you don't watch those as examples of what not to do? That's just the thing. You don't! <laughs> <laughs> this guy's got charm points now. I stifle a laugh as he chokes to death, then resumes his act. He faints onto the couch, clutching his chest dramatically. Ah, but being an immortal creature of the night comes at a price. A hefty price. Oh no. What, like, your soul or something? Actually, more like a cortado, three vanilla bean scones, and a panini. Mmm. Ooh. And you have to eat the panini because I'm not feeling the whole panini. <laughs> but I'll feel bad if I have to throw it away. <laughs> what? <clears throat> oh, so like $13.67? Yes, because you forgot I was coming. <laughs> Wow, immortality sure is cheap. Remind me why anyone bothers looking for the Holy Grail. Beats me. Lack of originality. Lazy writers. <laughs> this guy's just pouring on the charm, but I already got charming do it in my bedroom. In my bed. We both laugh some more about it. Gosh, this is... It's like old times. It's refreshing. Um, who's this? Don't get jealous, baby. Don't get jealous. You're the one for me. You're the one for me. Uh-oh. Oh. Well. I guess that's it. That is a nice cliffhanger ending. Well, thank you very much for hanging out with me. Yes, I did have to cut a few things out of this episode because it was getting a little... steamy. <coughs> but you can play this game for yourself on itch.io itch.io I will have a link in the description it's free to play for now it's still in development and uh yeah well, as always have a great night take care of yourself and remember there's always hope fallen in love with a fictional character again when will it end when will i learn when will i learn <laughs> good night everybody